buy it. Do you mind if you give a small presentation thing as well? Sure. You want the you want presentation? Ah, no, that's fine. It's okay. So uh, this is the idea. Uh, we call it the hop maze, and. Uh, the basic idea that we came in uh, over here at Hack Night was to make something fun, to make it immersive, to make it a little different from what the stuff we already seen. And so, this is this is the inspiration behind the game, uh, just to give everybody idea. So, a typical map is like a big map, which is a little confusing. You need to remember the stuff and uh, move it around. Uh, typical maps in most of the games are also having the fog concept. So, at one time you see only a small thing. That that's like the inspiration that we had, and the the game hopsco hopscotch uh, to you know get the jumping part inspired. And so the problem that all with the map games till now was that all of them basically make you sit at one place and use the phone or the keyboard etc to play, which is kind of boring. So you know that's just too boring to sit at one place and pretend that you're going around a uh, maze. So that's that's where you know our our app wants to play. So yeah. This is the first prototype that we made, and uh, uh, right now we have hard coded three different strings as easy, medium, hard. I'll just start mm -hmm. with any one of them. So what we are seeing here right now is a three by three screen. Hmm. My actual maze is an eight by eight screen. Okay. So I'm standing on this corner. Naturally, I'll have to reach to the other corner to finish mm -hmm. my game. Okay. Now to play the game, if you can see. Uh, I have included orientation sensors so that if I rotate by 90 degree, my map redraws itself. Okay. So uh, one of the very uh, first cues how to play the game would be you need to jump in the direction on which the map is pointing. Basically right now my map is pointing in this direction. So if I want to play the game and if I want to move forward I need to jump into this direction. So I will try to give a jerk which simulates basically a jump. You told them the secret. You're not <laughs> supposed to do that. So as you can see, the map uh, redraw itself. I've moved a step ahead. I can try moving towards the wall. It won't take a jump in this direction. It shows a message, hit the wall. So basically, you keep around. The entire idea is that you have to face this way. You keep around. You keep jumping different places. You finally reach the end of the maze. And a message will come up. You have finished the maze in some, some, some number of steps. So I'm taking one counter, which is the total number of steps taken, and uh, that's it. So uh, we are a that we really want, wanted to work on, but we couldn't. So we'll probably work on it in a couple of days. A, uh, the map is actually just a set of uh, hexadecimal values, so it can be easily made into a QR code. So essentially, you can make you know different maps and just take a QR code to load the map in. So that is one thing that we really wanted to work on. Other stuff is obvious stuff. You know, save the score, share it with everybody. And uh, one of the guys told that you know the whole sitting at one place and shaking might just work. So we wanted to make a small check to you know not let people just win the game by sitting again. So that kind of defeats the purpose. And if you want to play, you can always go outside in the hall. So you know after the whole thing is done, we'll let yeah. people play with it if you want. The Good. fun question of the presentation would have been uh, ex uh, accentuated by actually, actually uh, demoing <laughs> the game. Yeah, so he's, yeah. he's actually... He was already. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's actually not well, so he's been you know, not <coughs> jumping around. I've been the one who's been jumping even at KFC, outside KFC, jumping, jumping, testing. So, uh, if you... Small thing as well. Um, so, what we actually did, the jumping algorithm isn't really a very smart algorithm and it does not use machine learning as we actually thought we will. So... Uh, yeah, as of now, it's a very basic thing in which, huh, okay, so there's a small test uh, app which you can use to understand how the jump works to make sure that your hop is, you know, taken as a hop. So, uh, again, it basically uses three different threshold values that we hard coded after seeing, you know, testing a lot of people and it just tells you when to hold. So, basic idea is hold still, wait for it to tell you that you can jump now and jump and give us jerk which basically changes the acceleration very high and then stop again is the jerk thing. So, yeah, that's the other part of it. Let's hope to make it a machine learning thing soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.